What's up guys, it's 10.50 in the morning right now, and before I get to anything else, I'm gonna grind out the June income review video. So, it's already like halfway edited, I just need to finish doing the transaction list. So, I'm gonna go do that, I've got a full bottle of water and I'm ready to get to work. So, I'm gonna put this down and then after that we will probably do some sourcing because I've made one purchase this entire month. We're already 10 days in, sales are really down. I've made like $240 this month on Amazon, which is not good since we're already a third of the way through the month and if I send an FBA shipment after I get stuff from online who knows how long it's going to take to get that stuff in stock so not looking too good I'm gonna have to do a lot of catch-up work All right, so it's 8.20 right now. I ended up just taking my time with the video and I basically spent all day on it. So I worked on that until like six, uploaded it at six, and then went out, did some driving with my dad. It was pretty nice outside today, although it is pretty hot, even in my room. It's really hot right now, like I'm sweating right now, but I wanna talk a little bit about thumbnails and graphics for social media. So wherever you're posting, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you probably know thumbnails are super important. But if you don't, you're not behind because it took me quite a while to realize that. So in my first few videos, my first video didn't have a custom thumbnail. I just used the auto-generated thumbnail on YouTube. And then the other videos, I made thumbnails, but they were kind of trash. And then one video in particular, I've talked about this video many times. It's at about 31,000 views now. It's the only video on my channel that's past 1,000 views so far. But it has a pretty nice thumbnail. And here are some key details about that thumbnail that make it a good and attention catching thumbnails. So first and most importantly, it's very related to the topic and you can tell what the video is about just by looking at the thumbnail. So it's a picture of a shoe in front of Nike outlet on the left side and on the right side, there's a hand holding some money and on the top it says Nike outlet to StockX. Very simple, you know that we're flipping Nike outlet shoes onto StockX. So, like, you don't even need to read the title, you can just click on it, so it's, I mean, that gets the viewer to your video faster, but another important thing about it is it was really clear, so it's not like I used any, like, script font, and it's not really over the top. All I did was I put a white stroke on the shoe, and I put a white stroke and drop shadow on the hand and the money, and the backgrounds are a little bit blurred out. Pretty simple stuff, and the font I used was just a normal sans serif, font, very like basic font, and the StockX logo. Pretty simple stuff. You don't really need to overcomplicate this. The main thing is getting the point across and showing viewers what your video is about. And another thing, don't put too much text on your thumbnails because people don't really like to read a ton of text. It's like if you've ever done a Google slide presentation, you want to use bullet points instead of paragraphs. So on your thumbnail, try to limit the amount of text to just get the main point across to the viewers and explain very briefly what the video is about. So on that thumbnail, it says Nike outlet to StockX. Boom, you know what the video is about. And for Instagram graphics, it's mainly the same thing. I mean, I use a little more text, like I do these posts where I'm like, how to get unrestricted for brands on Amazon, how to schedule USPS pickup. That's about as long as the text goes on the graphic. And I usually keep it pretty simple with my Instagram graphics. They are pretty basic. I do want to make them better, but for the time being, they, they're not bad. They are a clean look. It's pretty hard to screw up just a simple, clean look. And as far as colors go, I use colors.com, except it's spelled C-O-O-L-O-R-S.com, I believe. And it's a, I think you'd call it a palette picker. So it'll pick a bunch of, it'll pick like five corresponding colors, and then I'll use that, and I'll use one for the background, use one for the text, use like maybe one for an outline. Usually I keep it to two colors, but if I need more, there's five colors in there. And you can keep randomizing it, so if you see one color you like, you can lock that color and you keep 
pressing the space bar and it'll rotate the other colors until you find something you like. I'm pretty picky with the colors, so usually I stick to the like purples, pinks, oranges, but you do want some variety. At the same time, you might want to keep your feed kind of complementary is the word I think I'm looking for. So you want each, like you don't want a ton of clashing colors together. You want it to kind of like flow, you know, you want it to be appealing. And I honestly don't know how important that is, but I mean, I can see why that might appeal to some people, you know, a nice looking feed might be attractive to viewers, potential followers, stuff like that. It might be one way to get more people to look at your posts. But yeah, hopefully you got something out of this, and if you didn't, I'm sorry that there hasn't been much reselling content this week, but I do eventually need to get back into it because my business is suffering. So on that note, I'm gonna be wrapping up the vlog here. So if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't liked the video yet, make sure you hit that like button to keep the channel growing. It really helps. Make sure you check out the June income review. That's the video I spent all day working on today. And I like that thumbnail, so you should go check it out. It's gonna be linked in the description below under the last vlog. And if you haven't seen the last vlog, it's gonna be linked in the description below and at the end of the video. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's vlog. And until tomorrow's vlog, bye guys.